Did I orgasm? You know, this is interesting. Did I actually come? <laughs> I've, had, I've had quite a few private clients who come to see me and they say, I've never had an orgasm. And so I'm saying, wow, okay, we're going to, we're going to. So during the process of how I teach, at some point, I have them show me what they do to have an orgasm. And if they can, to go ahead and have one. And do they orgasm? I sit there and I watch them coming. There's a buildup of tension. Muscle tension. Muscle tension, mm -hmm. body tension, and a focus. The breathing shifts. It's uh -huh. deeper. And very often it's, uh, there's some sound at the very end, although most women are very, very silent. Quiet. Yes, I like say, to be quiet. <laughs> I know. Well, we've been told to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Too many times. Go sit over there and shut up. <laughs> And then, then the actual orgasm reflex, there'll be uh, the jumps. The, the yeah, there's, you can see something. And so I will say, you just had an orgasm. My last client, brilliant woman, really brilliant, an, an MD, uh, a doctor, she was having, I would say, a pretty good-sized orgasm. Really? And, I, and her, her, what she thought that she should be feeling, so here it is, is mm -hmm. uterine contractions. And I said, no, I have had them. But they're rare. I mean, it doesn't happen every time. No, and, and it depends on the, the, you know, how much time you've spent and, and the size of the orgasm. Mm -hmm. Another woman uh, was convinced that she'd fall asleep afterwards like her husband did. <laughs> yeah, they come and they go, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're not sleeping. In fact, after sex, as a woman, you might find yourself with more energy. Exactly. I've been known to get up and clean the house. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know, like I'm, I masturbate before I go to the gym. And this morning I had a huge orgasm. Like the whole body was shaking. I was moaning. I was screaming. I had all those little autonomic kind of thing. Day before, a little blip. You never know. Mm -hmm. What I love about sex and orgasms is that you can't control them. You can't speculate. You can't shape them. It's it teaches us. That life has its own way. Exactly. And you must kind of like just go along with Go with the with flow it. and enjoy the highs and enjoy the lows. And even too. if they're little, they're still good. What if you want to change your orgasms? What do you want to have different orgasms and make them bigger and bolder and brighter? How do you do that? Well, it's <laughs> any way you can. It's like preparing a fabulous meal. It could be a flop or it can be just everything you wanted. So one of the things you can do is... I, I don't think I could come anymore at this stage of my life without <laughs> fantasy. Fantasy, yes. Engage oh. the mind if you want bigger orgasms. Oh, it is. So I, I used to just do sensate focus, just the fact that what I was feeling in my body was adequate. Sure, yeah. But now it's I'm conjuring up all kinds of uh, scuzzy things. I'm embarrassed to admit it's been, I think, over a week since mm -hmm. I've had an orgasm. It's time. Me, the, mo the mother of masturbation, forgetting to do it. It happens to us all. Okay. <laughs> so I'll see you later. <laughs>